Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this video, we are going to restore the roof on the camper trailer, coming up. So I'm in the process of changing out some of the solar panels on top of my camper trailer. I'm going from aluminum framed ones to the thin, lightweight, flexible plant panels. And in that process, I want to do a little bit of restoration to the roof here. It's kind of a preventative measures type of thing. I don't have any leaks. The roof doesn't look in bad shape. There's no cracks or anything like that. But the trailer's a 2011 and it is 12 years old at this point. So I wanna go ahead and get ahead of the game and go ahead and just put some rubber coating over the top of it since I'm replacing the panels anyway. I have to clean it and then we can seal it. So after initially rinsing the roof off with water, we're gonna use this cleaner to get some of the dirty spots, uh, probably spray it around and uh, get the brush all over the roof, but focus more on the dirty spots. This is the cleaner I picked up off from Amazon and we'll just use a Ryobi sprayer to put it down. So I'm hoping I can record this without too much wind noise, but you can see where I have gotten the roof done so far. I did this section right here because that's where the solar panels were going to go. I wanted that done so I get the solar panels down and now we're going to continue on. That's where the antenna was, that's what we did last week. And we're going to continue, we're going to do this section here, we're probably going to come around the edge and then do like this section in here and then on this side we're gonna come all the way down back here but I still wanted a, a walking area so it's still dirty right in here uh, I'm gonna do that other those other sections and then I'm gonna clean this and this and that will be the last section that I do so this is the sealer I got this is one gallon buckets. I got three buckets because they are supposed to cover 50 square feet each. My roof is like, I think I measured it and it was like about 150, just less than 150 square feet. But that's not counting for the vents and the air conditioner and areas where I won't be applying this. So I got three one gallon buckets instead of getting the five gallon bucket. Uh, it was like $50 more for, for the five gallon bucket, so I opted for the three one gallon buckets. But going with the five gallon bucket and putting it on extra thick definitely would be, would not hurt anything.
Now you might have noticed up here that I have metal covers on top of my vents. That's because the plastic ones kept disintegrating on me. After about a year, I'd have to replace them and they're not cheap and I was annoyed. So I went ahead and replaced them with metal ones so I don't have to keep replacing them. So the one over the bed up there, I kept blocked anyway. Yes, it's a little bit darker in the trailer, not that big a deal, I have windows. So if you noticed up there, I did paint that one. I have yet to paint this one or the rear one. But something I just noticed, because I touched it while I was going around this vent. Now this isn't very scientific, I don't have any sort of laser thermometer. But touching this, I can't hold my hand to it. It is too hot for me to touch. But April 3rd right now, it's only 78 degrees in Phoenix. 78 degrees and it's too hot for me to even hold my hand on to. But when I come over here to this vent, I can hold my hand on it and it actually kind of feels a little cool. So that makes a huge difference and I'm definitely glad I decided to paint these and I'm gonna be doing the other ones because that is a huge difference. All right, so here are the finished results. It is a little dirty up here. It has been about two months since I actually finished it. I just uh, didn't finish filming the video until now. But this is the finished results. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. Now I did it in sections. I did it the first section up there, then I worked my way back in sections because I didn't want to walk on it as I applied it. I don't even really want to be walking on it right now, but hopefully that gives you an idea of how it turned out. Not a difficult job to do. Another thing I want to mention about using these one gallon buckets, I was able to fit the roller down inside there so I didn't have to like pour it into a pan and it gets a skin on it very quickly so using those five gallon buckets might be an issue with it drying out sooner than uh, what you want it to so that was another advantage of using the one gallon buckets versus getting the five gallon bucket so as far as difficulty goes this was an easy project to do this is definitely something that you can do yourself so don't be afraid to tackle this and it should go a long ways of getting that rubber roof to last longer, getting some more life out of it, and uh, keep from having any leaks or anything like that, because that would be far more expensive to take care of than just doing this. So I guess that's it for this one, and we will catch you on the next project. See ya.